welcome to the second video I got my burrito and I have no fuel I'm on my way home I'm gonna show you guys how I refuel this car the first video was why I paid so much for it and this video is gonna be how I refuel it this thing is empty empty the light turned on the gas light turned on and put enough I put like 70 miles on it so it's super empty right now this car is a diesel it's an old diesel so it could run on waste engine oil so before you put oil into the car you have to filter it the waste engine oil I've been doing some experimenting how to filter it and the best way I found out to do it is this way so at the end of the video I will show you how I made this but for now I'll just show you how it works you got your waste engine oil right here you pour it into here you siphon the tube it goes through these filters right here down the funnel and into the buck or into the container so all of this is clean and ready to go you can see it's like a slow drip I don't know if you can see it but it slow drips and you can get a few like you could get like four or five gallons in in like two days depending what kind of oil you're using the reason why I say this is the best way is because you dump oil into the bucket you start the siphon and then you don't you don't have to worry about it at all you don't have to babysit it you don't have to because for people that already tried this before it takes a while for oil to actually get through the through the filter so I found that that this is the best way you just start the siphon and you just forget about it for a day or two and then when you need oil you'll have a gallons ready to go I'd say there's a good four and a half gallons A little bit left. now we're driving you can see it went from empty to almost half a tank and we're pretty much running on almost pure oil if anything it's like 90% oil what I normally do is while there's still fuel in the fuel lines I'd start the car and just go to the diesel station and mix or top off the rest of that with diesel kind of mix it up a little bit but we're skipping that today. We're gonna go do some off-roading, kind of just show you guys how this car could run on pure oil.
I did not get it on video, but I went up this steep hill and I bottomed out right there. And I knocked over the, knocked out the flex pipe. So I think we're done here. I wish I got that on video. Oh well, maybe next time. station now we're gonna top that off to the to the max now with diesel Okay, so we're back here now. There was actually water in this bucket. So I am going to get rid of this and replace it with a clean bucket. Okay, so for this setup to work, all you need is a bucket, a cap with a hole in it, Okay, so this is set up now. You can see the siphon is on the bottom. This cap right here is to keep is to keep it from sliding out. Okay. Next, we need a container for the clean oil. And last is a funnel for this container. Okay, so what does the filtering is these, they're like sock filters. What I did was put three of them on top of each other. It is a 10 micron, 5 micron, and a 1 micron filter. And these go really long. So instead of shoving the, the material into here every time, I put it into a window washer fluid bottle. I cut a hole on top and just put them in there and put this on top of a funnel. That way it's all like one piece and really very convenient. Uh, I have links. I'll have links for these filters in the description. And I'll see if I could find a link, some links for this. And that's pretty much it. Everything else, I mean, that's just a bucket, uh, any container would work, whatever is most convenient. All you have to do is open this up, grab some oil that people give you for free, and pour it in. Okay, so that's probably like two and a half, three gallons. Just close that so no dust gets in there. Put Cover the hole so no dust gets in there. Okay, now to start the siphon, you could just use your mouth like this.
Okay. And once, if you don't know how a siphon works like this, as long as this part is lower than the lowest part of your other tube, it will go down. You can see that going down. And it will continue to go down until it's equalized. So this is about how fast it will drip. Like one drop a second or so. Just leave that in there. About 48 hours, you can get pretty much this whole thing full. So that's it. I mean, you invest just a few minutes and you'll get five gallons of oil out of it and you don't have to babysit it. As long as there's not more oil in here that this container can hold, you can just set it up and forget about it. Cover that up. Okay, so it's actually been exactly 24 hours and it only did almost half a gallon. You can see it's dripping though. See that? So usually this is all filled all the way to the top, but I think since it got cold in my area, it's, it's, a, it's a little too slow for just one line. But you can see that it works. All you need to do now is you could add a little bit of gas into the oil to make it thinner, or you can get more of these lines and just have, have way more lines or a bigger line, bigger, bigger single line, and just do the same thing.